Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlords and today I have some news for you guys on the PlayStation console regarding mods for Fallout 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. I actually have two bits of news here. I have official news from Pete Hines himself and I also have some news from myself and I want to start off with that. Um, so, as some of you may know, I used to create a couple of basic mods for the Xbox One. This was mods like getting rid of the water in Far Harbor, making your guns shoot paintballs, and also changing your companion appearance to something like a Deathclaw or a Myalurk, stuff like that. And I'm pretty happy to say that I will be doing it for you guys on the PlayStation console too. So if you do have any basic mod requests for me, please make sure to go to my Twitter, the link is in the description, and tweet at me. I would actually like to know what you would like me to create. But please remember guys, it has to be basic because I am in no means a great modder. I am very basic, I know the basic things. Uh, but anyway, apart from that, let's move on to the official tweet from Pete Hines. So a little over 10 hours ago, uh, Pete Hines got a tweet from a guy called Monster Mo, and I will be reading out that tweet right now. He says to DC Deacon, I got two questions. Is PS4 mod still locked at 900 megabytes, and will it disable trophies when activated? And then Pete Hines responds with, at Monster Mo, trophies are disabled if you load a save with mods. We haven't confirmed mod size yet. Now, as you guys know, yeah, trophies are going to be disabled, you know, it's only fair that PlayStation disable your trophies whilst you're using mods, because that would just be very unfair. But, the last part of that tweet is what worries me quite a bit. Uh, so, if you guys don't remember, around about three months ago, they actually released information that, uh, you know, mods would be around about 900 megabytes. Now, Pete Hines is saying... We haven't confirmed the mod size storage yet, and that's very worrying, you know, because uh, Bethesda and Sony, they had to kind of cooperate on this, they had to kind of collaborate to reach an end deal, and um, as far as Pete Hines knows, you know, this is the best it's going to get, um, and the fact that he doesn't know the mod size yet is very worrying indeed, I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, Sony may have said, no, you can only have 500 megabytes or something like that, which um, to some of you guys, that might sound like quite a lot, but in fact, it's not really that much um, when you're thinking about mods or especially for Skyrim anyway. When you're thinking about mods for Skyrim, you need a lot of storage space. Um, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much the official news, you know. What do you think? Do you hope for a fact that they increase the 900 limit? Or, you know, do you feel for the worst? Do you think that they've actually lowered it uh, due to Sony being... I guess, dicks. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this, and also don't forget to go over to my Twitter and ask me any kind of mods that you want to see me create, but remember, they have to be basic. Anyway guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this information that I brought to you today, and I cannot wait to start making some PlayStation mods for you guys, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!